Rolex is a watch brand that is well known for its precision. Rolex is the only watch brand that doesn't require an introduction. It's a brand whose name echoes well beyond our industry's borders. Also known as the Crown, the watch brand is particularly its own domain, synonymous with luxury, interchangeable with quality, and steeped with a tradition that no amount of money, propaganda, or public relations stunts can replicate. Only authorized Rolex stores are permitted to sell and service Rolex watches. Official Rolex retailers are most prepared to assist you through the spectrum of available models, advise you on the technical elements of your watches, and help you make a lifelong decision. Since they have the required expertise, technical know-how, and unique equipment for these high-end timepieces. But how do these ADs choose their customers? Sit back and relax, for in this video, we will find out. Hello and welcome back to Above First Class. If you have seen our past videos, we have provided you with tips and tricks to sway away your Rolex authorized dealers. And in this episode, we will get to learn how these Rolex authorized dealers choose who they sell to. Perhaps we will be able to offer more tips for you to soon get a hold of your dream Submariner or Daytona. All right, now. Make sure to stay with us until the end of the video, and if you're truly a Rolex fan, we suggest you check out the other links provided in the description box below. There have always been so many questions going around on how to purchase this esteemed timepiece and all that. We know. We are going to exclusively reveal how this particular Rolex authorized dealer deals with the distribution and the client selection. Get ready to be blown away. Rolex has never sold timepieces online and is unlikely to do so in the future. Furthermore, its authorized dealer network is prohibited from doing so. However, that is only one among many the requirements Rolex places on its dealers. Becoming an authorized dealer for the world's most successful watchmaker is an incredibly daunting process. To begin, it would have to be a well-known jeweler with a successful business and a track record. It must be in an allowed location, situated off from other ADs and able to devote a significant amount of floor space to Rolex items. In most situations, it necessitates the remodeling of a shop which includes paying for the brand's design team to be flown in to monitor development and having the work done by just a select group of contractors. It is not unusual for a large investment to reach hundreds of thousands of dollars. There are strict guidelines on what materials can be used adhering to worldwide guidelines in styling and color choice. Wood paneling, for instance, can only be lace wood veneer with a strong horizontal grain that resembles snakeskin, and panels must fit together with tolerances of less than one millimeter. Furthermore, it generally necessitates a $1 million initial investment, as well as a hefty annual minimum order demand for each store. It's all in the name of exclusivity, something Rolex has always emphasized. It is alleged that AD employees are not allowed to negotiate costs over the phone or via email, only in person. They want buying one of their watches to be a memorable experience rather than a transaction. Rolex customers are divided in two categories, those who know a lot and those who know very little. Rolex is prized by collectors for its exceptional quality. There may be less concerned with highly fine, intricate craftsmanship and more concerned with having the greatest all-around watch for everyday use. Other Rolex buyers aren't really knowledgeable about watches save that Rolex is the greatest. The main reason for them is that if they're going to wear a watch, it has to be a Rolex. And this is a great praise for the firm since even someone who knows nothing about watches considers one brand to be number one. It means the company is doing something right. But nowadays you see, the Rolex High Demand Supply Matrix is a tool used by authorized Rolex dealers to categorize customers into three groups, which we'll refer to as types A, B, and C for the time being. You'll fall into one of these categories, which are as follows. Client type A is a new customer with no buy history, which is probably the most common. Client type B is an old client with no Rolex purchase history, while client type C is a client with a Rolex purchase history. Now, authorized dealers will merely rank them 1 through 11 before they're permitted to sell you a watch. Criteria 1 states that all clients who wish to register their interest in a high-demand Rolex must visit their selected showroom and register their interest in person, not over the phone. This applies to clients in all three groups in A, B, and C. 
The second requirement is that before any transaction of interest, the client must provide you identification, ideally the card that they're paying with. This is just a requirement for client type A at the moment. Number 3. This involves checking social media accounts such as LinkedIn, Instagram, and Facebook to confirm that they are not related to the resale of Rolex watches. Now, oddly enough, it only applies to client kinds A and B. It has no bearing on customers in Type C who already have a Rolex purchase history. It's somehow irrelevant to them. Is it any surprise that the same folks keep getting the same watches to flip over and over again? Next, if the client is a director of a company, you must check company's house to confirm that they are a director and the nature of the company. This also applies to clients types A and B. Now, you might be thinking, that should be none of their business. Well, we don't know either. Also, another research and investigations AD do is a Google search with their name and business must be conducted. Again, this only applies to clients types A and B, not client type C. Enjoying so far? Make sure to check out the links in the description below and don't forget to hit like, subscribe and ring the notification bell for more Rolex news in the future. Meanwhile, the sixth category reads, ensure that you have checked on, then it names their system, which I won't reveal if you know what I mean. But it says, ensure that you have checked on review their details, including using their address, phone number and email address to see if they have been registered on another account which applies to all three client categories. And note that all types of clients from all categories, like literally everyone who gets in and out of an AD store, must have a comprehensive bio prepared and stored in the system. And another noteworthy thing about these ADs, even if you have a previous spending history with the Rolex brand at this authorized dealership, if you haven't purchased one in the last year and you're planning to buy one now, it won't be as easy as you think because your purchase must be approved by the field team manager before being sold. But after that, you'd be allowed to play into the hands of the regular purchasers once more. Meanwhile, if the client has a buy history in the store but no Rolex purchase history and all due diligence has been completed, get a completed team manager authorization form where the contents of the purchase history will be addressed. This applies to both types A and B. Now finally, this is another important thing to know on how these Rolex ADs choose their clients. This only applies to client categories B or current clients who have never purchased a Rolex watch. It states that clients can express interest in ultra-high demand models, but they will not deliver one until the clientele have purchased a Rolex watch. Let us let you in on a secret. These criteria and tips are actually leaked from official Rolex authorized dealers. So whatever these tips resonate with you, you can let us know in the future down below. The moral of the story is that if you're willing to play the game, you should jump right in. Ask your local AD how much it will cost to get the steel sports model of your choosing and then buy the pricey precious metal pieces to make it happen. You may also take the opposite approach and see how long you can linger on the waiting list. Then, once you're fed up, just pay the extra grand and purchase your watch brand new on the gray market once you've had enough. LOL, just kidding. Thanks for watching, we hope you learned from this video and we hope to see you again soon next time above first class.